Hello, everybody. Welcome to Little John's Yarns. I'm Alicia. If this is your very first time here, what we usually do on Saturdays, every Saturdays now, I'm back to going live every Saturday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We take a look at some patterns and talk to each other and see what's going on. And we usually have a sip of wine, but today I'm going dry. I forgot to go shopping and go to the store, so I'm sipping on tea today. So guys, how are you doing right now in the comments? Let me see where you're from, what time it is, what's the weather like? I want to hop into the comments and check out everybody who's here. Hey, Miss Dee Dee, welcome back. Oh, you got this a new member? Thank you so much. You signed up again. I appreciate it very, very much. I got rid of my highest tier on my uh, membership channel. So now instead of paying $9.99, all the prices drop down to $4.99. So Thanks for joining us today. We have Pamela. Hello. Nice to be here. Ooh, we even got Georgetta from the UK. Welcome and thank you for joining us. So I'm near Pittsburgh, outside of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Right now, it is a beautiful fall day. I am fortunate. It's probably about 68 degrees. Nice, sunny, no problems. We got somebody. Oh, hey, welcome back. Ola Joe, hello from Virginia. How are you today? I'm doing pretty spiffy. I can't complain. All right. Hey, lady from Indianapolis, Indiana, Adina, thank you for joining us. So before um, I hop into all these patterns that we're going to be looking at, we're going to be looking at uh, 10 of my favorite uh, crochet dishcloth patterns, but usually so we can have each other so we can interact and have fun. Before I go over any of these patterns, I'd like to ask you a question first. And before uh, you comment down your response, so I know to bring it to the front, I'm gonna put, I want you to put question marks right in front of it. So, but before we get into that, if you would like to help support this channel, you can always donate via Super Chat. There is a little dollar sign next to the comment section. And when you do, uh, the bubbles will go off and the lights will go off and you'll get to spin the wheel of pattern. This is another way so we can all interact together. So let's hop directly into this pattern roundup which was written by my wonderful uh, VA, Angela Adder. So the first question for you, what do you love most about crochet? It can be anything, it can be the community, it can be a stitch or feeling, but before you respond, make sure you put question marks in front of it so I can bring your name to the front. Oop, I kept Adina's name on too long. So I can bring your name to the front so we can all chat about it. So. Let's hop into the very first one. Ooh, I don't even have my stuff uh, pulled up. Share the screen. Here we go. This first pattern is just a simple crochet disc cloth pattern. Have you heard of the moss stitch before? If you already know how to single crochet and chain stitch, then you're ready to take it up a notch. Also called the linen stitch, this stitch pattern forms a solid fabric with a light texture that almost appears woven. It's particularly striking when combined with different colors as shown in this picture. The designer of this pattern is Burnett, Den Burnett Design Studios. Oh, I said, thought I did so well reading. These, you know what? This is a simple stitch. Here's it in solid color, but look how like intricate it looked just by having variegated yarn or changing colors on each one. Any more pictures of those? Nope. So, oh, any of these patterns? All these patterns will be linked down in the description box below. So if you don't feel like watching this live stream, just go down to the description box, click the link, and it takes you directly to all of these patterns. So coming in at number two is the Tunisian TSS dishcloth. If you're looking for a more advanced crochet dishcloth patterns, then look no further for this Tunisian TSS dishcloth. Crocheters looking to add Tunisian crochet to their list of skills will love this manageable size crochet project with clear instructions. Plus, the texture of Tunisian is simple, per simply perfect for scrubbing. The designer of this pa pattern is Ambassador Crochet. All right, so. I hope you like those two patterns. We still have more patterns uh, below. And if you're watching this on a replay and you're wondering why I'm talking so much and where are all the patterns, like I said, it's down in the description box. This is a way where we can get talk to get talk to each other and ask each other questions. So the question that I asked you, what is your favorite thing about crochet? I'll go first. 
My favorite thing about crochet is relaxing. When I'm doing like a simple stitch pattern or like a something like a simple pattern repeat, like when you're working a hat in a round, when I'm counting my stitches, when it's not an intricate one, it's almost like saying a mantra. I zone out and all I'm thinking is one, two, three, increase, one, two, three, increase over and over. And it's just relaxing. And another thing I love about crochet, I'm able to do crochet as a career. I create crochet patterns. I sell them. I YouTube. I write. Crochet has become my whole entire life. I don't think I could live without it. So let me hop into the comments and see what you guys love about crochet. Hey, welcome back. Caitlin says, I love being able to make things for my family. So do I. Well, sometimes family can try to abuse your crochet skills. You know, I don't mind like, oh, could you make a blanket for the baby? It's, a baby's coming. That's fine. But when it's, hey, can you make me a hat? Can you make me another hat? Hey, can you make me this? Hey, you're not doing me a favor asking to crochet, but I would love to gift. I love gifting crochet. That's one of my favorites. Oh, speaking of favorites. We have JoJo here, welcome JoJo, because you can bring it anywhere and work on it. That's true, I've worked on my crochet at the airport, uh, at the doctor's office. And it's funny, no matter what, it always like sparks a conversation with somebody, even though sometimes I don't wanna spark a conversation because I'm in my crochet mantra, one, two, three, increase. Let's see, Gina or Jenna. What do I love? Stress buster and tangible results. I have to agree with you. Sometimes in life, it feels like you can't complete the task that you want. But when I pick up a crochet pattern, I know there's a beginning and an end. I know it's a process. Each, whatever it is, starts with one tiny little stitch. And that's why I love small projects. And when it's done, it just feels I completed something. I might have a Brand new pair of crochet socks, hat, scarves, but my laundry, it still needs done. <laughs> okay, Amanda, I love having something I made with my hands out in the world. I used to think that when I used to sell my crochet items, just thinking somebody walking around in the world is wearing one of my crochet items. Oh, I have, uh, this has been years, I haven't sold items in years. But I remember uh, going to like one of the Dollar Generals and spotting one of my hats in the wild. I'm like, of course, it was one of my friends wearing it. I was like, oh, that's my hat. It was so exciting. OK, I'm going to do a little bit of scrolling so I can get some more people that I miss. There we go. Oh, there's only a couple more. And then we'll hop right back into the roundup because uh, taught my late wonderful month because taught by my late wonderful mother died at 44 when I was 15. You know what? That's a skill and an art of love that's carried on forever. I don't know if you're like this. When you crochet, do you feel a little bit closer to your mother? Like this is what she taught you. Without her, you would never have this skill. And now you're creating things with your hands that she taught you how to create. I think that's a beautiful thing. And I love making things that are pretty. And last one, Adina Esses. I love the piece of it and creating something from scratch. I lied, one more, Regina D. My favorite thing about crochet is how relaxed it makes me. I agree. I got my, I was wondering what that noise, I got my uh, pressure cooker on in the background. So we're gonna hop directly back into this roundup. And remember, if you would like to do any of these crochet patterns, they're all gonna be linked down in the description box below. They're free. I love free, so don't worry about it. So remember, just like I did now, I'm gonna ask you a question. What the, okay, simple. I just asked you what's your favorite thing. What is your least favorite thing about crochet? Remember before you comment, make sure you put question marks in front of it so we can bring it to the front and chat about it. And also I always mention this, you can also help support my uh, YouTube channel by hitting that super chat button. And when you do hit the super chat button, we're gonna see if it works. The bubble should go off and the light should go off in the background, but we'll see. All right, so let me share the screen and go into the next pattern. 
I think I have these. Nope, I got them in order. This is the vintage crochet dishcloth dish cloth pattern. Meet the Peachy Margot Crochet Dish Cloth. It uses a pretty vintage crochet stitch called the Catherine Wheel. This stitch pattern really pops when you change colors every two rows as shown. Master this stitch with the dish cloth and move on to bigger projects like blankets and cardigans. I love this pattern. Look at it. Let me get an up close look. I think this, ooh, needs a stitch tutorial like this. I wonder if this comes with a video tutorial. Most of the ones directly from uh, Knit Picks and like that usually don't come with a video tutorial, it's just the pattern. But still, it's free, it's gorgeous. That's what I usually do with my stitch patterns. I turn it into a dishcloth. No use throwing out a square, just make sure you do it in cotton. All right, so the next one. This is the Starfish Washcloth. Think outside the box with this crochet dish cloth that's shaped like a star instead of a square. This dish cloth is a cute, it's cute as it is functional. It would look right at home in the kitchen or a coastal decor, or you can use it in a bath instead. Also, children are so sure to appreciate this bright color and bold shape. The designer of this pattern is Knit and Crochet Ever After. Guys, minus the starfish, this roundup saying crochet dish cloth over and over is a tongue twister. Ooh, but this is a cute and easy pattern, a nice pattern repeat. This is the type of crochet pattern where I'm saying has a mantra to it. You know this one, two, three, and you have your uh, corners. One, two, three. I love those type of patterns. Let's scroll down a little bit more. Oh, check it out. And it comes with a video tutorial. I love the crochet designers that take the time to write you out an intricate pattern. Look at this and give you a video tutorial. So thank you to you, uh, Knit and Crochet Ever After. So the question that I just asked you guys, what is your least favorite thing about crochet? I probably have a list of, of course, the favorites it outweighs the uh, complaints about crochet, but it's the typical ones. I can't stand weaving in ends. I can't stand joining. I can't stand uh, when I have to frog and miss a stitch like eight rows back. I can't stand uh, yarn barf. When I'm looking for the center pull, cause you know, I love a center pull. I don't like to go from the outside, but I do have this cool little gadget where you can pull from the outside, but regardless, the center pull always turns into yarn barf. Those make me so angry. So what bothers you most about crochet? Let's see. Uh-oh, we got some nasty spammers. Let me see if I can get these block user. Got it. Nasty people in my live chat, chat trying to put some P-O-R-N type stuff in here. Shame. Okay. Here we go. We'll start with Brittany, one of everybody's number one. I raise my cup to that. I hate weaving it ends. I get so excited about the project being done. I still have a crochet hat that I wear all the time. It's like a red beret, one of my favorite hats. It has the longest end. I didn't even trim it. It's about seven, six inch, six or seven inches long, hanging off the back of a beret. I just tuck it up underneath the hat and call it a day. The knots being tangled. The knots being tangled makes me so upset. Caitlin, again, my least favorite thing about crochet is how long it takes to make a large project, but worth it in the end. I'm still working on that. I've made like the largest projects I've ever made were like, I've made uh, one big blanket that's on the couch, but that was before I even got into crochet as big as I am now. But sweaters, that's usually as big as it gets. I get frustrated. I'm like, I want it done now. Ch -ch -ch Cherry Bomb. I only say that because she told me that's where her uh, screen name came from. And she's one of my fave. Weaving in ends. Yes, hate that. <laughs> when people say, what are you knitting? Yeah, that that's quite annoying. I don't mind it too much when it's a brand new person that I'm just meeting. 
But when you've known me for my entire life and years, and you know this is what I do, and I say crochet all the time, and somebody's like, hey, can you knit me something? Oh. My friend just sent me a video. I'm going to send her a text back. Doing a live. I wonder what she's, I have to see now. I shouldn't have read that. Okay, that was a bad thing to be reading my live. She sent me an inappropriate uh, video. Pamela, frogging three hours of work. That's what I'm talking about. You notice you'd make mistake like five rows back and you're on a blanket. It is so annoying. Hmm. Yeah, another one of my faves. Least fave, yarn that won't frog. Roving yarn that won't frog. That's one of the other questions I come, got coming up, like one of your least favorite yarns. But that's, I love the way roving yarn looks. It has that beautiful, fluffy, pillowy look, that ethereal, wispy look to it. I don't know. I just love the way it looks. But don't make a mistake. You're just done. Just going to leave that there. Sometimes you can get it like, ooh, you got it. And it's starting to unravel. And you start to feel bold. And you tug. And all of a sudden, your yarn thins out. And it breaks off. And it's a mess. I'm going to scroll a little bit. Hey, one of my faves, uh, Mocha mocha Crochets. My recovery kit after a lot of crocheting. Orm, orm and hand braces, ibuprofen and uh, ice packs. You know what? That's a completely another topic, but that's a good thing. What I do after I recover, after crochet pain, I think last week we talked about what do you do to prevent it, but we never talked about what do you do once you already caused the damage. I usually just rub my hands and soak my hands, but I think that's a good idea to have a crochet recovery kit because we tend to say, listen, just one more row. I'll do it after... When it hits midnight, I'll stop and we just keep going. Let me scroll down to one of the bottoms. Hey, another one of my faves, Knit and Crochet Tiger. My least favorite thing about crochet is how a lot of non-crocheters do not know how much work and love goes into making things. Um, Some people just mistreat your creations. You know what? Cheers to you. I agree to that. People think like, oh, can you whip this up real quick? They don't understand like what stitch this. I'm sorry. That's my ugly fingernail that my fingernail got ripped off. So I'll point with this one. One stitch is this big to make a whole lot of something. It takes time. And if I'm making something for you freely, it's because I truly, truly love you. So please, if you truly love me back, just don't throw the crochet that I made you on the floor, not wear it or call it cheap, it's, even though it's expensive items. Ugh. Okay, so I'm going to hop back into this uh, roundup. Like I said, if you're watching this and you're wondering where all the patterns are, all these patterns will be linked down in the description box below. You can get them free after you watch this whole live stream with me. You can go check those patterns and crochet some up this weekend. So my next question for you, while well, we're on, oh, what is your favorite yarn, not yarn, what is your favorite crochet hook brand? That's a simple question. So what's your favorite? Clover, Boy, uh, Susan Bates. What is your favorite crochet hook and why is your favorite crochet your favorite crochet hook? But before you comment, make sure you put question marks so I know to bring it up to the front so we can all talk about it. Hop back into this roundup. Here we are. This is our number five pattern, the flower power dishcloth. Man, this roundup is full of tongue twisters. Let's see if I can read this next paragraph. Here's another one of our uniquely shaped crochet dishcloth patterns that are free. These bold flower motifs remind me of the 70s. These sort of styles have been making a comeback as of late. So don't be surprised when all your friends want a set of these for themselves. The designer of this pattern is 
whiskers and wool. I think this is the cutest little patterns. I would probably make these into like coasters also. They're, I think they're too cute to be dishcloths. I would make them into coasters. Or <gasps> they'll make them bigger and make oven mitts. Oh, I would like that. So next pattern on this list is the squared waffle. This is our number six pattern. The texture of the waffle stitch is particularly tailored for scrubbing. While using crocheted in a round, but News Crochet has figured out how to crochet the waffle stitch in a round and create a particularly striking dishcloth design. Changing colors after every two rows is a fun way to add more interest to your project and potentially use up some scrap yarn too. The designer of this pattern is But New Crochet. Let's take, okay, she got it for the dishcloth and you can make it even bigger. That blanket gets so much texture. That is beautiful. But I will tell you guys this, this is a beautiful uh, stitch. Make sure you get a lot of yarn because these type of post stitches usually tend to be yarn eaters. See, for me, this is a sensory blanket. I would lay on it. Well, it would lay on top of me, and I would just rub it. I love textured blankets. And I like how she had the um, idea of making them into just separate squares and joining them together. Once again, I would probably have all these squares and nothing joined together. This is a beautiful pattern. All right, so back to me. I'm always clicking the wrong button, guy. There we go. There's my face. So, what is your favorite crochet hook and why is it your favorite crochet hook? Make sure you put question marks in front of it so I know to bring it to the front. So, my favorite crochet hook, of course, is Susan Bates. And um, as a crocheter, my crochet bag is upstairs, so I have no hooks to show you, but it's one of the OGs. Boys and Susan Bates are the OG crochet hooks. But that inline crochet hook for me, it's where it's at. I don't know, I don't remember what crochet hook my grandmother uh, taught me with. So I can't say it was something I grew up with, but working with a boy, for me, it seems to slip off my hook more. And when I go to insert my hook into the stitch, the tip of it is just too blunt. The inline Susan Bay crochet hook has a more tapered uh, head to it. And the hook itself, I don't know, it's like a snatching mechanism and I get all my stitches best. So that's my opinion. Now let's see what yours is. I'm gonna start from the bottom first and work my way up and try to get some people I haven't gotten before. All right. I couldn't tell you, uh, most of mine came from uh, charity shops. I have a box full. You know what? Most of the random crochet hooks or the cheaper ones are boy, but if you got it from charities, those are probably like handed down or from somebody, you know. So maybe they are, I don't know, different. I can't guess what they are, but those are the best type of crochet hooks to get for re. Hmm. I have a couple vintage, now I'm thinking about it, I have a couple vintage crochet hooks and they're like metally and rusty, but they're not like the steel for working with thread. I feel like they're steel and they're a size four millimeter crochet hook. Oh, Relic Good says, vintage boy, smoother head. That's what it is. The vintage crochet hooks way more than the newer ones. Learned with boy, boy for life. You know what? I still love you since you're a boy lover. <laughs> it's okay, Relic Goods. But you're right. That I couldn't put my hand on it. The vintage crochet hooks have more weight to them. Jamon said, I hope I pronounced your right name correctly. Has anybody tried AliExpress hooks? Yes, I have. Uh, very biased on my clovers, but the AliExpress hooks are the only ones in my collection that are comparable. Just more tapered. AliExpress hooks, they're, they're all different. I've had uh, the wooden hooks that I got from AliExpress. Those ones look more like the uh, Susan Bass. They're more tapered. When you get those AliExpress ones in the kit with the pack, those look more like boy. And there are some cheaper ones that look like clovers. I, I wish I had my bag on me, but they have like the 
the steel and like it's the ergonomic is shaped like a clover hook would be makes sense to me a clover is like a mix between a boy and a susan bates if they had a baby it's like a happy ground Didi the designer. I love any hook brand name as long as I cro long as I can crochet. I really don't care what name brand I use. Yeah. I know. Karen had another oh cherry uh bomb or cherry B forty eight. We need Karen here for more fun. Hold on. Are you saying I'm boring? I'm sorry. I'm so boring. But no, I know you're not. But Karen, today she had her own live stream. She said if she had some time afterwards, afterwards, I send her an invite link. If she ever wanted to pop in, she could. But I miss her too. It's kind of hard to run these live streams when you don't have like your co-pilot to your left or right. I'm like, I miss her. Gloria, Susan Bates and boy, you like them both? I feel like when I'm working on with the boy, I'm slowing down. I can't move as fast. Or maybe it's a mental thing. Amanda. All right, this will be my last one. Oh, I think we have another one. This will be one of my last ones. I bought a cheap ergonomic hook off of Amazon, and I love them. Makes my hand hurt less. There's one tip to, for your hand not to hurt when you're crocheting. Check your crochet hook. Uh, how do I crochet? This is how I crochet. If your hook, I learned this from the crochet nurse. She has her own YouTube channel. Search it in the search box or whatever, and you'll find it. Crochet nurse. If your crochet hook only hits hair at your hand, that's not healthy. You need to get a longer crochet hook. Also, the um, ergonomic, ergonomic crochet hooks. It should extend past your hand. I guess I received pain right there, like sharp pain. I'm like, do I have carpal tunnel? It's just the way I'm holding my crochet hook and the way it's pressing into my hand. All right, last one from Knit and Crochet Tiger, and then we'll hop directly back into this roundup. I have a favorite brand of hooks, but I like metal hooks the best. They usually have a finish on them that allows the most uh, yarn to slip smoothly off them. I hate when the yarn gets snagged. You'll get some snag yarns on like those cheaper ones like the AliExpress because sometimes they'll have like the seams on it that'll snag on the hooks. I dislike that. Same with the wooden crochet hooks. But there's a hack if you have snags with your wooden crochet hook, just get some wax paper and just rub it up and down the uh, crochet hook shaft. Sounds dirty, but that helps smooth it out. I do use plastic hooks only because I lose my hooks so often. All right, so let's hop back into this roundup. So now my next question for you guys, what is your favorite weight of yarn to use the most? And why is it your favorite weight of yarn? As usual, before you do, make sure you put question marks in front of it. So I know to bring it to the front. And of course I say this ever so often. Oh, I forgot to put the banner up. Uh. It's my birthday. Not yet. It's not today. But my birthday is coming up in a couple days, October 25th. I will be the ripe old age of 42 years old. Yay, it's my birthday. So right now I am having a uh, sale down in my... I lost the comments. Oh, where's my comments? I'm having a sale in my Etsy shop. All of my patterns in my Etsy shop are 50% off. Everything in my shop is 50% off. But if you use the promo code BIRTHDAY, you'll get an additional 25% off of that. So help celebrate my birthday by a pattern. My Etsy shop is linked down below. So guys, let's hop into this roundup. What is your favorite yarn? Yarn weight. Not favorite yarn, but yarn weight. Where are we at on this roundup? There we are. Uh, next, we are going to look at the Mercy or Mercy uh, cloth, number seven. How about one more Tunisian crochet dishcloth pattern to add to your collection? Move beyond the Tunisian simple stitch and learn a new Tunisian stitch, the smock stitch. It makes a gorgeous dishcloth with incredible drape. You can't even tell that it's crochet. Oh, and did I mention it has a matching towel pattern? Designer of this pattern is the Tunisian crochet queen herself. TL Yarncraft. And you know what every one of her patterns comes with a video tutorial. 
and you're right. I'm not, this does not look like crochet at all. Let me scroll for some more patterns. This is gorgeous. All right, so let's move on to the very next one. We're rounding up almost to the end. We are on pattern number eight. This is called the, I'm sorry, my nose is getting sniffy, Dishcloth Clara. Okay, I'm getting a bit carried away with all these great patterns. Let's get back to the basis with this beginner-friendly design that uses only single and double crochet stitches. A smidge of color work and a neutral color palette makes this a sophisticated pattern that is sure to withstand the test of time. The designer of this pattern is Nordic Hook. It does look way more intricate than single crochet and double crochet, but usually when you just uh, stagger the stitches, like single, double, single, double, that's almost like the moss stitch, it creates this beautiful pattern. I can't get a closer picture. There we go. Okay, let's hop back to us with the question that I asked. What is your favorite weight yarn? If you follow my channel at all, most of you guys know exactly what my favorite weight yarn. I love working with worsted weight yarn and up. Well, worsted weight, bulky. I usually don't do super bulky so much, but I'll buy super bulky yarn and let it sit on my shelf for five years because for some reason I like the way it looks and I can never think of a pattern. But usually, yes, worsted and super bulky yarn. I'll do a DK yarn. Typically fingering, I never do fingering with yarn. And if I do, it's because I'm doubling up the yarn to make a different pattern. And the people who do like lace work and work with fingering yarn and thread yarn, I think you guys are the goat. You guys are the greatest of all time. To be able to just be patient. That's, I always wonder why I could, it's because I'm not patient enough to make such beautiful art that you're making. Yes, it's the same stitches as you would do with a super bulky yarn, but it's how many stitches you do with thread. So you guys are the goat who work with that. All right, so let's go into the comments and see what you guys have to say. What is your favorite thing? Okay, Teresa, you are in a goat category, finger and weight yarn. Brittany, DK weight. Four, it's the easiest to get. You are not in the United States, are you, Brittany? In the United States, pretty much any yarn is easy. Yarn is, I've always said this, uh, around me, I have within 30 minutes, at least four or five big box yarn stores, Joann's, Michael's, Hobby Lobby's. There's like two Joann's, uh, two Michael's and a Hobby Lobby, so five. Five big craft stores with all types of yarn. I love the way craft stores smell. JoJo says four and five. Uh, yarning for a smile. I am hands down a finger and weight user. Happy birthday. I just turned 40 on the twin. Happy birthday to you. So cheers to you. Happy birthday to both of us. We're almost birthday twins. So 42. Uh, let's switch it around. We are 24. Or uh, 21. For the second time, because 21 plus 21, I don't know. <laughs> she crochets by Cool Crafty Croatians. Welcome back. Worsted weight four, although I'll use three, five, six, or se seven. That's like super, super bulky. I love four, though. Just easier for me. I think four is because that's what I grew up on. Yolanda. Four ply. I've tried thinner and thicker yarns, and I just... Don't function well with others. Know what? Stick with what you love. Sherry says, I like four weight and happy birthday, Alicia. Same day as my stepdaughter. Ooh, Scorpio. I bet she's a rascal. That, I'm just kidding. I'm not a rascal. I'm, I'm on the cusp of Scorpio and whatever the zodiac sign before me. So I'm a very pleasant person. Worsted. Uh, knit and crochet tiger she says worsted gloria four and five okay we got the big yarn girls where are my veteran where are my like 
where are my crafty girls that's working with like the little yarn? Oh, here we go. Elena, I love all yarn, but in particular, I really enjoy sport fine weight yarn, mostly because I'm obsessed with making shawls lately. Hey, okay, you're making a shawl on top of uh, using that fine sport weight yarn? You're good. Who else? I'm looking for some more small weight. Georgetta. One, two, three. I don't even... Oh, that, oh, after this, we have one more. If you guys would like to show me what you're working on, I would really love to see this uh, lace work, these shawls and these such small weight yarns you're working on. If you feel like it, can you email me at littlejohnyarns at gmail.com? That is down in the description box below. I would love to see what you're working on. I'll type it here in the comments too. I can't spell my name. Little John's yarn at gmail.com. Please, I want to see what you're working on. All right. Anybody else working with that small yarn? Oh. DD, my favorite yarn is lightweight because I love to make baby garments and I find the lightweight texture is very soft against baby skin. You're right. All right. So, if, oh, hello. Welcome. So, guys, next, I'm going to ask you a question, as we usually do, and we'll hop back into the uh, roundup. So, uh, I can, oh, this is the very last one. What is your least, I feel like the pressure cooker, it's not, it doesn't turn off. Okay, the pressure cooker toned off. I'm going to check that real quick. My kitchen's right there. I'm just going to unplug it. Hey guys, I'm right around the corner. Uh, I made chicken noodle soup last week, frozen. I just want to heat it up real quick while I'm filming this. So, huh. so regardless, what is your least favorite yarn? What is the yarn you cannot stand working with? Right now, make sure you put question marks in front of it and I'll talk about it when I get back from we talking about these next two patterns. And if you would like to see any of these patterns, they're all linked down in the description box below. They're absolutely free. So let's check out the next one. Where are we at? We did that one. We did that one. This is, excuse me, this is called the Sunburst. Mm. Okay, sorry. This is called the Sunburst Round Dishcloth. Add a spot of warm sunshine to the kitchen with this sunburst round dishcloth. When these dishcloths aren't in use, they can be hung up on the wall. They are certainly decorative enough to put on display, so why not add a bit of color to your kitchen? The designer of this pattern is Willow Designs. This is gorgeous. I don't know if this was the very first image that I seen in the picture. I was like, um, uh, that's okay. That's just the pattern. The fact that this is an orange, I would put this all over my wall. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's crazy how much a uh, color can make a pattern go from huh, okay to absolutely gorgeous. Or I'm being, hold on, am I sharing the screen? I always forget to share the screen. Yes. Or I'm being completely biased because orange is, it's not my favorite color. My favorite color is like yellow and purple, but those bright colors like orange, I love it. All right, so the very next pattern, our number 10 and last pattern, Whispering Pines Dishcloth. The last of our best crochet dishcloth pattern is a parting gift for the beginners out there. Don't get discouraged at the sight of all these lovely designs. You can make a dishcloth just like this one with both simple stitches and a stunning basic design using single crochet and double crochet stitches. The designer of this pattern is Truly Crochet. Yeah, I didn't want to forget about the beginners out there. So here we go. Any more pictures? Simple crochet stitch. All right, guys. So those are our... Oh, I can't get my face back. Okay, guys. So those were our 10 crochet patterns. I hope you enjoyed those. But I want to get to the questions that I asked you. What is your least favorite yarn? I'll go first. 
my least favorite yarn it's this is a hard one it's my least favorite and i kind of like it a lot at the same time i have a love hate relationship with care on simply soft actually i can go back to hating care on simply soft because i found a substitute for it it's called mighty stitch yarn oh mighty stitch yarn and do I got some care on Simply Soft over here? Oh, okay. So I can compare the two. All right. Care on Simply Soft, what I do not like about Care on Simply Soft, it's splitty. It's split city whenever I'm crocheting, especially with my Susan Bates, because it got a little pointy head to it. It likes to split the yarn. But I love the way Care on Simply Soft looks when it drapes the way it feels against your skin i love using it with a hat i just that what's called mercerized yarn and that sheen i've always loved the sheen of this yarn but i hated the way it split until i found mighty stitch uh yarn i think this is their bulky yarn but they also make it in worsted weight this has that same exact sheen without the splits and how can i explain it the super this brand i was just point i keep can't say the word this brand the yarn this yarn is fluffier it has uh I, oh that's my ugly finger now the yarn is thick plump the thing about this yarn the Kieran slimply soft it's like limp there's no life to it this has a beautiful drape and it has like a plumpness to the yarn so i can guess i can disown care on simply simply soft i suppose but i still have a lot of it a couple years ago i bought like 200 skeins in a garbage bag from craigslist for 50 dollars. so i have a whole bunch if you see any of my patterns from like five years ago they're all made in care on simply soft because i had so much yarn but definitely check this out from crochet.com or nitpicks Mighty Stitch yarn. All right, so I'm going to start from the bottom and see what you guys, what's your favorite yarn, or not favorite, the yarn that you can't stand. Knit and Crochet Tiger. My least favorite yarns are those with the nettings if tiny colored threads woven around them in a center white core. Okay, my least favorite yarns are those with the netting if with probably with tiny colored threads woven around the center of the white core you snag the netting and it's hard to cover i can't, I can't picture it i can't picture it mm. okay next one love simply saw i should say why do you love it and why do you guys hate the yarn that you hate like i said love hate relationship with it yeah my least favorite thing to do about crochet is joining really hairy yarn tangles too much yeah i have some angel hair yarn that i i think that's what it's called it's just this real wispy i don't know what to make with it i'm like i just don't want to mess up i love the concept of them but i can't stand working with the fluffy furry yarns i also don't like the scrubby yarns the ones that making dishcloth i bought some of that scrubby yarn but I still haven't made anything with it. Uh, the furry yarn, like the thicker furry yarn made by like line brand, like that has like a whiffed, whatever you want to call it, I don't mind. But the eyelash yarn, no, I can't stand that. I've always had to mix it with another yarn, but then you still have problems with frogging. Oh, and once again, since we're all done with the... Uh, roundup part of our live stream if you have any questions for me you would like to know about me just or you would like to say hi to whoever you like to because who doesn't like to be pop up on youtube and you see your name on the screen just put question marks in front of it and say i just wanted to say hi and i'll bring you to the front here we go barbara thanks for sharing all these lovely patterns oh you're welcome Moon Rose Craft. My least favorite is from the dollar store. Oh, your least favorite yarn? I just did a review and I was loving some dollar store yarn. Except for their, I think it's called Crafters something. 
but there what's the brand that's it's made by oh i can't remember just yarn the just yarn i do love their just yarn but before they had just yarn now just yarn is blowing up all over the dollar uh trees their crafters one i can't remember the name exactly but it's craft something it has like a brown wrapping i don't like that yarn at all but i do love the other ones Thin yarn hurts my hand. Otherwise, I would love, oh, I would love to make earrings. I don't know what I should make earrings. Those are a nice, quick project. Brittany says, this scrubby yarn. I love the resulting scrub I made, but the yarn was rough and the stitches were impossible to see. My least favorite yarn is eyelash. Currently attempting to make a stuffed owl with it and it's so hard to see the stitches. Are you using it like a secondary yarn so you're able to see the stitches? Like, I've always wondered if people just use the eyelash yarn by itself. I've never been able to do it. I just assume that's what people do. Let's see, am I missing any? Oh, I just seen somebody with a question. That said, they just started crochet. I lost you. I'll scroll down. I'll back, go back to finding you. <gasps> you don't like silk. Uh, vi visco vis I can't. Viscose? Viscose. I know what you're talking about. It's a shinier uh, cotton yarn. I like it. I don't know. Why don't you like it? No, I should ask why you don't like these either. There was somebody that just wanted to say hi. And I can't find them, but I'm going to find you. Gloria, <laughs> I'm like you. I hate the splittiness of Caron, but I love the way it drapes. I used to make so many like summer outfits with it. People were always like, why would you make crochet summer items with uh, acrylic yarn? I'm like, everybody's clothes aren't 100% cotton. My Caron Simply Soft halter top is pretty cute, and I feel good in it. And it was not like rough on my skin definitely try mighty stitch yarn after this i'll leave a link down in the description box below on where exactly to get it but crochet.com that's easy to remember i found you lisa you're the person i was scroll past your comment and i was trying to find it hello from italy i just finished working on working with a crazy rough uh jute by hobby cute uh cut my cut up my fingers know what i like jute i like the way it looked and i was going to do a crochet basket on using just cheap jute yarn from the dollar store and i said no it hurt my hands too much i was starting i'm like this is something i'm going to do slow on my own time this is not going to be a tutorial no um guys if you would just like to say hi tell me what you're doing Make sure you put question marks in front of it. Oh, yeah. And let me go into my email and see if anybody sent me any work of what they're crocheting. Here we go. We do. We have two people. Here we go. Let me share my screen. This one, uh, who is this from? Tunisian Crochet. Beautiful. Next. Oh, Christy. Oh, my gosh. This is beautiful. Am I sharing the screen? I want to make sure. Yes, I'm sharing the screen. This is absolutely gorgeous. Thank you for sending this to us. Can I zoom in on this? Okay, everybody give her a round of applause, hand clap for Christy. Beautiful work. I love that. Thank you for sharing. I wish I was that skilled of a crocheter and just patient enough to finish it. Because if I made something like that, I would never sell it. I would never get away. It'll be in my arms forever. And yes, the name of that cheap yarn is called Crafter Square. Sucks. It does from the dollar store.
Mocha says, since you are a Susan Bates gal, I think maybe that's why you don't like Karen Simply Soft. It doesn't play well with the Susan Bates hooks. It just splits too easy. Yeah, the Susan Bates is like a knife. It's like a crochet knife. It gets into them stitches. Uh, Ivana, she says, hi, I started crocheting a few months ago and your videos have been so helpful. Thank you for watching my videos. I appreciate it very much. Okay, we got just a few more. Thank you. This is exactly what I needed after spending all day in bed with a migraine, stress, and anxiety. I'd love to know what you're working on at the moment. Actually, I'm in a another crochet funk completely. I started making a hat. I just did a, a video tutorial, not video tutorial. I just did a video on crochet scene and TV. And I seen this beautiful hat from Two Broke Girls. And I'm like, I'm gonna recreate that hat. And I'm just been working on the round. I haven't built, the hat hasn't been curved down to shape to the head. I just haven't had the energy to work on anything. So instead, <clears throat> excuse me, instead of working on crochet patterns, to uh for you guys to create things i've been buying crochet gadgets so i don't have to make patterns so i'm coming out with like crochet gadget reviews oh gina do you want to see my next crochet gadget review oh it's right over here in this corner sorry my butt's in the air mm. here it is all right this is the big selly from prim it's supposed to be a yarn holder i guess i'm on a big yarn holder kick so i want to test out and see how good this is so hopefully i'll be doing this review in the next couple weeks I actually did another review on a yarn holder Ooh, i seen it on tl yarn crafts video it's the magnetic yarn holder look how cool this is you just put the yarn on it and it spins I wonder if I can show you while we're at it. Oh. And you can pull it from the outside. Holds up to 200 grams of yarn. Cool as that. All right. Have I missed? Let me go down to this. Do, 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 do. uh would be yarn one would be wood one would be painting and one would be sculpting that question i asked did i forget i purchased uh patents patones though i'm saying that right silk bamboo made several items and just peels so much that is another thing peeling you don't know think about it or you don't realize it until after you've had the item for a while, you wash it and you're like, oh, I don't like it anymore. No, Alicia, are you doing wine today? I forgot to go to the store and buy my wine. So I'm actually, I'm being a good girl and I'm drinking tea today. So I'm all done with that. So I think we pretty much had fun here today. We've been chit-chatting for an hour. If you enjoyed all these patterns and talking with me, please join me next Saturday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm back to doing my live streams every week. And all these patterns from this video are linked down in the description box below. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. And I'll see you next time. Bye.